Find All References lets you view all the places in your project where a symbol is being used. Say that I wanted to find all the places in my current TypeScript project where the equals function here is being called. To do that, I'm going to first right click on equals and then say find all references on that. Find all references opens up a new search result or new view here that's very similar to the search results. So it's showing a list of files and then it's showing if I expand one of these entries, all the places in each of those files where array equals is being used here. I can navigate through this list and just click on an entry to see the current uh, reference being highlighted in the code. So I can just navigate through this entire file list and see where, wherever equals is being used in these files. Let's go trigger another find all references. So get code action providers and do find all references here. So that's only being used in this current file, for example, and we can see that there's just one entry in the list. If I then clear the search results, so just by clicking on the little result up here, you'll see that this, this references view here, which is highlighted by this little icon over in the bar here, when it's empty and I, haven't, I don't have any uh, reference result going on, I can actually see the search history. So previously we find all references on equals. So if I click on that, it will show me where I triggered the find all references call and then code, get code action provider. If I want to see those same references again, all I have to do is hit this little rerun icon over here. And it goes back and reruns the search results. And now I'm back in the um, search results for the equals here. So again, I can just browse through and see wherever equals is being used. Final references lets you quickly see all the places in a project where a symbol is being used. This can be useful for exploring code or for doing refactorings. It's supported for any languages that offers rich IntelliSense, so out of the box languages like JavaScript and TypeScript for VS Code, and then you can install other extensions like C Sharp or PowerShell that would also offer this support.